My name is Tammy Bond. I'm an environmental engineer and a professor at the University of Illinois. I'm interested in emissions from combustion. You might think of that as smoke. I model where it goes in the atmosphere. I measure it in different places in the world. And I'm trying to put together the big picture of where it all comes from, where it all goes, and what it's doing to the atmosphere. As a mechanical engineer, I was really interested in the heat transfer, fluid flow, and chemical reaction side of mechanical engineering. I thought a perfect place to practice that would be in combustion, so that's what I did for my master's degree. And when I was doing that work, I realized that there was a whole story for what happened to the exhaust after it left the tailpipe, and that became the focus of my doctoral work. Black carbon is a small black particle that is formed right in the flame. When you see orange in a flame, that's black carbon glowing. And it can escape the flame and get into the environment. The reason it's so hard to measure everything about black carbon that you need is that so many of the sources are far away, rural, hard to get to, and have no electricity. So we've had to build equipment that can be carried, brought on airplanes, taken through customs, and operated without electricity for six to 12 hours at a time. The interesting thing that happens when countries begin to industrialize is they begin to burn more and more, and it's not being burned very well because they're not very clean, not very advanced yet, and so you get a big explosion of black carbon. And then people look around and they say, wow, we're dying because we're living in smoke. And then they begin to clean up. When you want to make a change, all you can change is emissions. So you need that whole path from emissions to atmosphere to climate to understand what you can change and what it will do. To me, research is interesting when it has relevance when it has implications for what people can do and for the future we can choose. Okay. One of the things that I've been very interested in doing is working with organizations in different countries, help them test and develop household stoves that are cleaner. Because I can't touch three billion people, what I want to do is work with the people who can. When I got the call from the MacArthur Foundation, I was completely blown away. This is not something that I would have ever expected. It was my first week of teaching. I was writing a big proposal, and I wasn't sleeping very much at all. And so I thought, maybe I'm just hallucinating. It felt like a hole was punched in the fabric of the universe. The exciting thing about receiving the fellowship is that you no longer have to be limited by what people allow you to do. Instead, you can allow yourself. And so many of the things that I'd like to bring together now become much more possible.